This video reviews how to apply a simple list data validation dropdown to a column of data in an Excel workbook using the Python library OpenPy Excel. This testing workbook contains three fruit in column A. You can see the option for a dropdown list in column B next to each fruit. These are what I will show you how to create. But for now, let's delete this column so that we're starting with a fresh new workbook. Here I bring in the workbook as WB and I select the worksheet as WS. I will then be saving the work in the cell below. To use this form of data validation, I need to import the pertinent object from the Python library, data validation. It is in the worksheet.datavalidation module of OpenPy Excel. Here you can see how to appropriately import it. Next, I must create my data validation object, which you can see right here I am naming DV. This object will be applied to each cell I want to contain a drop down list. Data validation objects can take a variety of arguments, but for our simple demonstration, all we need is the type and formula one arguments. For type, I'm specifying that this is a list because I want my dropdown to be comprised of a list of numbers. Formula one contains the choices of my list with each choice separated by a comma. It is important to make sure that your string of choices includes these double quotes surrounding the choices as Excel requires them on the back end to make sure that the numbers appear correctly. With our data validation object created, we now have to do two things. First, we add the data validation object to the worksheet of interest with the worksheet's add data validation function, passing our data validation object to it. Second, we add the cells to the data validation object that will contain the drop down list. I will accomplish this by using a for loop iterating from the first row to the last row in the workbook. I am adding one to the max row of the worksheet because the range function stops one before the second number that you passed it. So it'll go from one, two, three. Within the loop, you can see that all I am simply doing is adding the cell I want to display the dropdown by using the add function of our data validation object. Let me execute this. I will save the document and reopen to see the outcome. And here we can see that by clicking into the cells in column B, we can see the drop down list has returned and we can choose a number based upon the list we supplied Excel in Python. So it's quite simple. You import the data validation object. You create that object specifying the type of validation you want it to be and the allowable choices. Add that object to the worksheet and finally explicitly state which cells in the worksheet should contain the data validation dropdown. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative and helpful. Please leave a comment below letting me know what you liked about it and what other functions you would like me to check out of uh, OpenPixel or just Python in general. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you'd like to see when the next videos are released.